Hello, and thank you for listening to Getting Hard in Nate's Backyard. On this episode of the podcast, I have Noir. Noir is a five-piece progressive black metal band from Winnipeg, Manitoba. They just released their new record entitled Tracks of the Hunted Independently, and they are on a Western Canadian tour in support of that. One of the highlights of that tour is they'll be playing at Armstrong Metal Fest this upcoming July 15th and 16th in Armstrong, BC. Uh, it was a real pleasure sitting down with these guys, and we got to hang out a bit after, and they're uh, really awesome dudes. So I want to thank them for being on the podcast, and as always, thanks for listening. Hello, and welcome to Getting Hard in Nate's Backyard. On this episode of the podcast, I have Noir here. Say hello, Noir. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> This podcast is brought to you by Right Hook Mics. Go to righthookmicrophones.com. Our guests are speaking through the metal mic, which is super badass. And uh, they're cheap. They're like 100 bucks or something-ish. They go on sale all the time. And you're supporting my buddy, Big James, who's rad. Uh, this podcast is also... Uh, righthookmics.com. This podcast is also brought to you by Big Nate Productions. That's me and Nancy. Uh, go to BigNateProductions.com There's a countdown for the uh, Calgary Metal Fest There's a countdown clock Which is in- incredibly scary uh, For me, personally And uh, there's lots of info there uh, You can listen to this podcast there You can buy tickets to Metal Fest through there You can do tons of shit there So I'll see all the upcoming productions Including Noir Well, you won't hear this by the time you- Hopefully you're at the show Tonight, yeah. even though you haven't heard this podcast. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll see you there in the future past. Um, and yeah, this podcast is also brought to you by Calgary Metal Fest. So go there, go to calgarymetalfest.com, buy fucking tickets for every single goddamn night. I've announced everything now. Uh, Toxic Holocaust is headlining on Friday, and Pile Driver is headlining on Thursday. So... Get your metal fest down. It's going to be crazy. And uh, with that being said, I'd like to officially welcome Noir. Please state your name and what you do in the band. Andrew, I am vocals, guitar, and piano. Uh, Bob Fitzgerald, play guitar. Craig, play bass. Josh on the drums. I'm Mark. I'm doing lights for the guys. Coolio. Fucking A. And you guys are from Winnipeg, right? That's I right, yeah. Yeah, are you are you all born and bred Winnipeggers? No, yep. no. unfortunately. Yep. Oh no, no. no. I am. Cool. Tell us about three, yourself. Three to five. <laughs> you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I am. Yep. Wild. How long? Uh, when did Noir start? I think technically six years ago. Oh yeah. Yeah. How six so? years ago, there was only three of us at the time. So our first drummer, I guess we had three official drummers. Josh being the third. Josh the third. Hey. Hey. Um, yeah, basically we played a few shows without bass. And then Craig approached us, said he wanted to come try out. And he's the only guy to ever played bass for us since. <laughs> Fucking A. Number one. Number one. Yeah. There's only one Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A, cool. Yeah, you guys have had drummer issues, eh? Yeah, yeah like, like most people. Yeah, for sure. Partly the reason that this new album, Tracks of the Hunted, uh, even like happened was because we didn't have a drummer. We had one metal song and no drummer, and it was probably two and a half years since our last release. So we kind of did some damage control and wrote some acoustic stuff, and oh yeah, that's what happened basically. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. So if anybody's wondering. Uh, what's with all the acoustic stuff <laughs> oh is there a bunch of acoustic stuff yeah, on the new record three acoustic songs piano song um Some ambient stuff yeah an ambient song cool and then the metal song 29 minutes long total fucking a neat yeah. are you gonna be doing that tonight acoustic stuff no no just all heavy shit yeah uh, people just talk yeah maybe on the radio in yeah exactly NPR. Victoria. Fuck, that's brilliant. You're pulling the Opeth. Where they, remember they put out that heavy album and then they put out that like light 96 album? 
Oh yeah, Damnation. Yeah, yeah, that's my favorite Opeth album. Really? That's that's probably not a good thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> Told you drummer issues. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I got a personal mic. I like it. <laughs> yeah. No, that's awesome. Fucking a. So, is that your second record? Yeah, that's our second one. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Fucking nice. Where do you uh, record out of? Uh, this one was all done. The metal song was done. Bedside Studios. Yeah, Bedside Studios. Before we recorded the acoustic stuff, like months later. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. And uh, at that same studio. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right on. Who? Uh, anybody I know that runs that? Or I, I, think so. yeah. I don't know. Oh. Okay. He hasn't done a whole lot of metal stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Awesome. Cool. So, uh, can you tell me your dates? What do you got coming up? Um. So tomorrow we're playing in Edmonton. Uh, Friday in Vancouver. Edmonton where? Uh, at the Bricks Bar and Grill. Nice. Uh, Vancouver at the Astoria. Fuck yes. Uh, Kelowna. That so the Vancouver at the Astoria is what date? On Friday, July. Uh, is that eight? Eight? Yeah, yeah July eighth. Yeah. Uh, Kelowna. I don't remember the name of the venue. It was like booked a week ago. We were supposed to play Penticton on a beach, uh, but it all fell through. Oh yeah. The guy. Going to the venue is asking like fifteen hundred for the night, and that's oh, yeah. just not gonna happen. No. Oh, yeah, but it would have been cool to play on a beach. Uh, I can't remember in Kelowna. It's not on there. Oh, <laughs> <sakes. laughs> um, Victoria, we're playing Logan's Pub. What day? On sa- or Sunday, Sunday, the tenth. Then the eleventh, uh, Monday, we're playing in Namo. And then a few days off. Nanaimo. Nanaimo. <laughs> Nanaimo. Nanaimo. And uh, following Thursday, we're playing Prince George at the Art Space. Then Armstrong Metal Fest the following weekend, 15th through 16th. Yep. Okay. Uh, are, are you guys going to hang out all weekend? Oh, yeah. We're getting there sometime. As soon as we can get there from Prince George on Friday. Cool. Um, you going there too? Or what? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to hang out there and try and... Pedal Metal Fest tickets. Is what's is this Chi? Che. Che? Is he coming or what? Uh, I'm not sure if my singer Che is going. Che, come on, man. Yeah, yeah you gotta yeah. go, bro. Yeah. Come on. Shout out. Back in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> Any other dates? Yep, uh, following that, we're uh, playing uh, Red Deer on the 21st at uh, the VAT. Then fuck yeah, but best venue in Red Deer. Holy good. fuck. Oh yeah. We haven't played Red Deer yet. It's like an old blues bar, but cool. It's cool. got a rad PA and it's a killer stage. Um, we have an unannounced show that Friday and then Saturday we're playing Regina at the Mercury. Oh fucking hey. Yeah. And then we're back going for Curry as well. Yeah, Curry. Back- what? <laughs> We're going for curry and Regina as well. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Is there a good curry place? That's what I'm told. Oh, okay. Uh, 10-4. Craig missed that part of the conversation. Yeah. Oh, he okay, he knows now. <laughs> Turtles in time or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you played most of these these venues that we just... Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've played, uh, I've played the Armstrong. Played... It depends where in, in Kelowna. We played a bowling alley in Kelowna. Really? Yeah, I was, would not be surprised. It was it pretty happened. hilarious. Was it like a decent show, or was it? Uh, yeah. He was knocking down. <laughs> <The> gutter ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, what had happened? I mean, for me, you know, not to whine about my life, but we, when we left Calgary, we were playing with this band, and they accidentally loaded my head. Like it was in the same case. Yeah. But it didn't. Mine, it does now, but it didn't have an identifying. Right. So they loaded my head. So I was running my whole entire 2,000 watt rig off my fucking Sans amp. Okay. Like the little pedal. Yeah, yeah. And it was terrible. So it was just pissing me off the whole time. And you're in a bowling alley. You're just and like, I was in a bowling I, alley. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and my parents were there. And it was like the worst fucking gig we've ever played. Like it was just, just not like as a band. It was yeah. just, nothing was jiving at all, you know? And like, those happen. That was like a spinal it's, tap moment. Oh, you, well, in front of your parents too. They're yeah. like, "See, sure, told you, you know." Not, <laughs> told you never. <laughs> not, not really. Told you never happened. Yeah, yeah. I told, told you. Told you. Yeah, just give it up. 
You're the, playing bowling alleys for God's sake. <laughs> in Kelowna. He said we pay for law school. <laughs> Munin's Post or Munin's Post. M U N I N N Post. That's mm. uh, Saturday, July 9th in Kelowna. Huh, no, I've never been to that place. But yeah, I think a lot of those, like the VAT I've played, it's fucking, the VAT is great. Excellent. Lots of venues have shut down in uh, in old Winnipeg, haven't they? Like the oh, zoo yeah. there. Fuck. Albert. Zoo. The Albert. The Albert shut down too? Oh, that was like Albert 10 years ago or, yeah. or something? Well, mm. it shut down for a while and it came back, I think. It tried or, to come yeah. back, yeah. Or yeah, they, they tried to make a comeback or something, and I think it was around for a little bit, but... There Never was, really took off, though. I think there were issues with the building, too. Like, the basement was flooding like it crazy or something. Up. Yeah. Yeah. And then somebody came in and said, like, they didn't want to, like, fix it for the punks and metalheads, right? Right. But that's who it belongs to, so. There's, like, a fight between the city and the guy who owned the Albert. Then he reopened it, and it was very crappy for a month or two, and then it closed down. Really? Yeah. Just a month or two? Yeah, something like that. Boutique, uh, kind of like hotel type thing. Boutique hotel. Boutique hmm. hotel. Doesn't seem like it could be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, by becoming, he means like tearing it straight to the great ground, you know? Just like oh, rebuilding a new. Yeah, okay, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Yeah, there's no gut in that one. Like in Calgary, they had, they just, you know, the have you heard of the National Music Center that we have? But it's just like $50 million building that just opened up. Oh, yeah. And it goes over the road and shit. It's fucking crazy. But yeah. one of them was the King Eddie, which was this old blues bar. But it was so cockroach infested. Oh. Like they took it apart brick by brick and like, like Everybody they rebuilt. Roaches. They yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they cleaned all the roaches off all the bricks oh, no. and put it all back together and rebuilt it. And it just opened officially, I think, yesterday. So should be interesting. We'll see that. But. Yeah, they literally had to go from the ground up again. Like, can local bands play there? Um, yes, it seems like it. It seems like it. I don't know. Like, it was forever a blues bar, and now it seems like it's some sort of government institution. So I don't know if that means that we could play there. That's kind of what happened to the Albert. They were just trying, trying to get rid of us. And like, no, we're going to have fancy food here and jazz bands and stuff. But, like, that's not <coughs> what's been established, I guess. I've been sure. Didn't work out. Yeah, right, yeah. Oh, that place was a nightmare when it reopened. Yeah. yeah. You went and fired over? No. Yeah, that's not going there. But what, uh, what's the blues bar there? The Windsor? The Windsor. Yeah. That's where that we place just, is cool. We just had a show. Yeah, every, every time we play there, oh, man. it's like a curse. <laughs> we played two CD releases. We have two CDs, both times. It was a disaster. Like, amp failure, cord oh, failure. Gear shit. Yeah, yeah. always gear failure. Yeah. I had major gear failure there. Yeah, your drums a couple fell days over? ago, my my whole my one of my stands fell over and just took out the whole right side of my kit with it. <laughs> In the first song, it was great. <laughs> yeah, one of my patch cables just started cracking, and by the I think second song, third song, and it was just not even making noise. Just crack, yeah. crack. And then my mic was cutting out too. Yeah, when his his patch cable went out and his amp would just like blur on for a single like second and then cut off and then back in and off. So it was super like distracting. One of Craig's uh, buddies jumps on stage. Yeah. He's just trying to get the cord to work and he's like He's breaking his pedal. <laughs> yeah, he's making it worse. <laughs> <laughs> he he's snapping the he knew input. He made it worse too, it's kinda of funny. He's, yeah, he's yeah. like, Oh man, I think I made it worse. I'm like, yeah, yeah. You did. Yeah. <laughs> you owe me a $300 pedal. Yeah, I claimed it was worse for the first song, but afterwards it was better. So. <laughs> yeah. He helped. He was he trying to help, though, yeah. 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 He just he saw, he's awesome. like, these guys yeah. need me right now. Yeah, that guy. yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, that's, I love it when people help like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I hate those nights, man, when it's just like, ah, oh, fuck, again? You know, you're like, and it all seems to fucking shit all at once with that, where it's like, it's oh, always now the hometown. speaker cable's fucked. Well, what? Except, you know, yeah. now this is like... Yeah, yeah, that was a disaster too. Yeah, yeah. We've had some major technical uh, difficulties. Yeah, Black Morning Light was another good example. We didn't have a drummer. Right, you were <laughs> already the drum machine. Yeah, yeah, and we already booked the show. And we're like, okay, no problem. We'll just use the drum tracks in the album and play it on computer. Lots of people do it. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking somewhere we edited it out the middle of the song. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> there was a problem with... The patch cord, none of our patch cords, but like going into the PA, Ugh. and that was really hard to diagnose. And uh. So all of our feed through our headphones was, <laughs> <laughs> you 
you know, looking at them, you know, like trying to, and they're, they're running around trying to figure it out. Fuck. Brutal. And then all of a sudden, right in the middle of it, drums just stop. Yeah. We're just playing guitar for maybe 10 seconds. I accidentally cut out half the drums in one of the songs. <laughs> so, like, the drums just stopped halfway through. Yeah, it was like a last-minute edit or something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how it happened. Like, yeah. they look good, and then we go on stage, and missing half the drums. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't have hit deletes yeah, a just... second time. <laughs> you just yeah. hold people, like, get it. They're like, ah, technical difficulties. Sure, that can happen to anybody, right? Yeah. Well, actually, it can, because uh, I worked at Monsters of Rock in 2008, which was basically them trying out Ozfest in Canada like um, Ozzy was the headliner and fucking Judas Priest and like all it was just like fucking Cavalier conspiracy and all, all these crazy hate breed and it was fucking huge and uh, Shadows Fall got off because I was the backline guy so I'd be right there kind of after and shit and fucking Shadows Fall gets off and they're just like fuck 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 and I'm just like what happened and they're like you see we have two fucking kick drums yeah we only had one in the monitor which oh. one? I don't know. I can't even imagine, dude. Yeah. I can't even imagine. Which one? <laughs> so that, that happens in a million, you know, dollar production too. Yeah, I guess sometimes yeah. It definitely does. Yeah. It's terrible. Um, cool. So what's the name of the record again? The, the new one? Of the, the Tracks of the Hunted. Tracks of the Hunted. Fucking hey, cool. And you were saying how many tracks? Six, six in six, total. Six in total. Fucking A. And uh, th that's being released this Friday? Yeah. You said? Yeah. yeah. You can do pre-sales. We're selling it online for a dollar, basically. So oh, cool. A dollar or whatever. So bad on bad. what? Like uh, Bandcamp? Bandcamp. Band yeah, so band we, how do they find you on there? Uh, Noirdarkmetal.bandcap.com. I think it's... Right. Yeah. So Noir with an E. N-O-I-R-E. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dark Metal. Dark metal. Dot bandcamp dot com. Cool. Yeah. Didn't you guys used to not have any? Oh, here it comes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, I was just wondering if I was going insane or if you guys were. There's a bunch with my of other head. noirs with no e. There's one from the states. I think there's one from Germany. Paris. Or yeah. Or yeah. There's, there's a bunch of other acts. noirs. So we were like, okay. Oh, they're what electronic. Can we do? Well, there. I think there was some metal. Okay. There was, there was just. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, there was. Something. Huh. And we just said, okay. Just, We're going to make it French. Let's throw an E on it. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. Apparently we did the right thing, too. Yeah, okay, it wasn't cool. like, we didn't really know what we were doing. We were just, yeah. <laughs> what are our options? We change the name, or we can throw an E on it. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Hey, fucking hey, I say it is. A little Every bit of confusion, but... reviewer likes to point that out. At oh, 2012, yeah. we were noir, and then Magical E changes the band. And oh, the, yeah. That's that one yeah. question shirts, you get so every time. We still have shirts with it. Yeah, we still have shirts without yeah. E. We still have a couple yeah. of shirts with no E. You're cult. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, do you have any of the new stuff? Or, like, should we play a tune? Uh, yep. I'd like to play a tune to show everybody your stuff. Sure thing. Um, maybe we'll just go off the of band camp? Or do, nope, you, do, you, have something, do you have something uh, on you? Or? Not uh, we have CDs in the, what do you the guys trailer. Play? I could whistle something. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that we have on the band camp is the piano intro right now, just because yeah, they pre-sale pre -sale and they oh, want yeah. pre-releases. Everyone wants their exclusive streams, and if we cool. just throw up the album. No, fair enough. Yeah. So, he, but you've got right. tracks of the hunted. Yeah, he's got it. He okay, tracks. which tune do you want to play? I got to tell one. somebody. It was <laughs> like the metal track. From That's the a album. ten minute song. Oh yeah, what's it called? The tracks That's of the, the tracks. It's like the title track. Title track, tracks of the hunt. Okay, check it out, everybody. We'll be right back in ten minutes.
Fucking A, we're back. That was called, what was that called? The <laughs> Tracks of the Hunted. The Tracks of the Hunted. Is that right? The yeah. Tracks of the Hunted. Okay, cool. Yeah. Fuck, I don't know why it's so hard for me to get that. Because it's new, that's why. All right, fucking A. So uh, we were just talking about Farmageddon a little bit. That was nuts, eh? It was raining 45 degrees uh, the last time they did that there. We were all there. Yeah. That yeah. was crazy. It was really cool, actually. And yeah. then as soon as we were done, it stopped raining and stopped being all chaotic and shit. as soon as you guys were done yeah that's because you're so grim yeah <laughs> <laughs> we summoned it yeah we uh, conjured <laughs> pure grimness fucking a well uh a- any other tour stories you ever had any breakdowns or any shitty stuff like that happen mm. Mm, nothing we didn't work through the one um something broke off the bottom of the van and was flapping and we thought the the wheel went flat but uh what was your uh the protection plate for your gas tank. Your gas tank yeah. yeah, we just neutered it. We had to just fucking snip sh- it off. Yeah, oh, yeah. We neutered the band. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were tenting. Where were we tenting where the fucking war horn went off? Oh, oh Minidosa. Minidosa? Yeah. It's like where this, the fuck is that? It's a small town in Manitoba. Okay. We're all tenting. We're waking up in the morning. It's like, woo! It's an air raid siren that goes off. Air raid siren, yeah. That's the church bells there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's church time. Well, where did that happen? When we were coming back yeah. from Edmonton. I think There's another it, place. I think it was Verdon. Like, it was either Verdon or Musiman. Yeah. So it was like right on the border of Saskatchewan like and Manitoba. Tim Hortons and suddenly the air raid siren goes and everyone starts leaving and like we didn't know what the fuck was going on. Children of the con. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fucking tornado warning or something? We don't know. We almost go for the meeting. <laughs> the town hall meeting. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no Today's outsiders. the public execution. No outsiders. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they just look at it. When you One walk into, go. you ever have that? You walk into like, <laughs> you just want some breakfast, and you you walk into a small town, and then all the old farmers are just eye eyeballing you up. You're just like, say hi to their wife. Hey, how's it going? That same thing yeah. happened to me. The guy at our jam space who uh, there was like this. I think he was Japanese dude that owned the little cafe there. He sold it to these. I think they're Nigerians. And they part. They turned it into a deli and bar. <laughs> it's like called Happy Hour Deli and Bar. Hey, go check it out, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> but I walked in there, and it's there's all these black guys in there, and I open the door, and they all just look around at me at the same time. It's like, do you have food here? <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. And they're like, yeah, yeah. So they were cool. They were fine. We just oh, the ro- don't today. get the roast beef though. Yeah, yeah. The stare down we got today. Yeah, we parked outside a travel lodge just oh. for like two minutes. Oh. There's a travel lodge here. And then a Tim Hortons here. We pulled our trailer because it's long. We, get, we can't pull into a Tim Hortons usually. So we parked at the Travel Lodge. What <laughs> happens? Parking lot well, empty, by the way. Yeah, totally there's no empty. one there. Not a single tenant. The, the owner comes out and just starts. He tells us to leave. And three of the guys are walking back from Tim Hortons. We're like, hey, man, we'll leave right away. Just, just a few minutes. And he just stands there, his <laughs> arms crossed, <laughs> just staring at us. Not saying anything, and then he motions with his hand. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, okay, man. Yeah, yeah. Right away, it. dude. Yeah. Right yeah, away. He came back with coffee. I saw this guy, and I like, started looking at this. I'm like, what's going on here, man? Hate. So I like, said, hey, what's up, buddy? Well, hate and he eyes. didn't come out until, because we saw you guys come out of Tim Hortons, and Bob started blaring the horn. Yeah, that might have been one came out. And then I was, like, screaming, too. And then, yeah, he just... They want to tell everybody, though. Oh. He wasn't don't, <laughs> don't stay at Travel Lodge. Yeah. In, uh, in the <laughs> Swift Current. Swift Current Swift Travel Current, Lodge. Yeah. Yeah. Not there are a bunch of racists. Stay there. This yeah. is, this yeah. are, it was a perfectly fine mm-hmm. camping site just down the street. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Swift stuff. Current. Neither Swift nor Current. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? They have a fucking bonanza there, though. Is that yeah, oil what? country down there or what? Oil country? Still I'm bonanza. not sure. Everybody looked at... I found... Everybody looked at... Like, all the guys were, like... like looking at Probably, me because... Well, you're talking to a guy from Alberta. No, but <laughs> if you go further south, it's Esteban, and that's... Yeah, I got a bunch of oil there, country, actually, yeah. yeah. For sure. But I'm not sure if it is all the way up by Swift Current. It's probably sure. just fucking combine... Combine drivers and fucking swather guys. <laughs> there can't be any bands from Swift Current. I don't know. Is there? Ah, oh, fuck. You know, send an email to bignateproductions at gmail.com if you're a fucking band from Swift Current. <laughs> <laughs> sure enough. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah, exactly. We need you. you. We need, you know, come come play in our towns. You want a tour? I think there was, where, where was Hellhounds from? Oh, I think they're from Regina. 
I want to say there was a band from Swift Current that did the uh, Valken Battle once. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. There was. It was one of those small. Like, Get us out of this town. Yeah. <laughs> please. We want a chance to play Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, please. <laughs> I feel bad because that's you know I do all the prairies for the Valken Battle yeah. thing. Like I do every every province, like Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba. And some bands like they'll apply to the Calgary one because they'd rather do that than play in Regina or Saskatoon. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. It's weird. And, uh, yeah, we do the trip often though. It's yeah, it's fun. good. How many tours have you done? Only as two, in, two tours, but we've come out, we've come tour. out west quite a few times. Mm-hmm. Cool. What's the longest stretch you've done? This one? Three yeah, weeks. One, yeah. We did three weeks last time, didn't we? No, oh, two no. weeks. Two. Really, eh? Yeah, but I think was, we said we'd never do three weeks. It would kill us. And we're like, we're it, was, yeah. it was It was very <laughs> very divided. It was like two weeks and five shows. With the cots for. Just hit every major city, basically. So it was like Edmonton. And that takes two weeks in Canada. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's total fucking bullshit. I hate it. Yeah, we just hit every city and then, uh, yeah, came back and didn't play enough shows, basically. So this time we're doing the exact opposite, playing too many shows. And <laughs> well, no, I mean you gotta you gotta fucking throw the spaghetti against the wall, right? Fuck. Yeah. Canada. <laughs> I want to figure out grants, man, so that it's like you know you know who fucking did it? Citizen Rage. They're like they're a punk kind of hardcore band from here in, in town, and they got all these sponsors and shit, man. And well, it helps that one of them's a bar owner, but we have a grant. We've you got, have a grant? We've had yeah. three grants now, thanks. To really? Grants. Yeah. Oh, we have you got to keep doing it. You got to keep doing it, and you got to play their game. They're reading his grants, like how you would listen to an album. You're like, oh, the drums are really good on here, and you show your buddy the drums. Yeah, this right. guy's showing his buddy. Look at this business plan, man. Like, oh, you know, seriously, <laughs> how the fuck do you do that for yeah. a band? Marketing yeah. plan and marketing. Two. You're doing that, yeah. Craig? Yeah. Holy shit! That's Craig Peoples. Uh, Craig yeah. Peoples. Yeah, look him up. Look him up on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna look you up. Fuck. Uh, sure. Give yeah, ten percent of whatever you can fucking. They start raise giving you a little you bit. Yeah, we got fourteen percent uh, of the the tour grant or something, and then it's because East or uh, Western Canada is considered regional for Manitoba. Huh. So they only depends. Uh, so for Manitoba, depends on how far you go. They'll give you more. Uh, I assume that's the same. Australia is 100 percent coverage, right? Yeah, <laughs> they said it was a lot higher. So like, no Australia way. Is the highest. You're not yeah. kidding. Holy yeah. shit! It's almost easier to get a grant to go to Europe or Australia than it would be to go to like the Maritimes. It's it's more about the Maritimes. Yeah, so Maritimes not regional. It'd be like regional plus one, I guess, is what he the way he explained it to us. Yeah, international is better, so they give you more percentage each time. Uh, we also applied to Factor, which is the national one. Sure. Uh, but they take eons to get back to you yeah, so we haven't heard anything yet huh so this is through the manitoba government yeah uh, it's federal and then provincial yeah right okay and you can get help from both you guys you can well <laughs> alberta must have like yeah uh, alberta something. does because yeah. the guys yeah, from all those stampede. fails uh they got uh, a marketing grant to go to the oh, western canadian music award you start getting grants then you start working with junos and uh sure western canadian music awards and all that stuff that's kind of sure. the same world, I think. Yeah. So they gave you a marketing grant. That means for Shredmonton, we got a marketing grant for Shredmonton because it's uh, okay. So for marketing grant, it's like market placement. There has to be a showcase, so you have to be invited. Yeah. Then you have to set up meetings with people you don't already work with and things like that. A few other things. I don't know cool. how it works for Alberta. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> I mean, a lot of bands go to that south uh, by so, southwest. Kind south of thing. by southwest. Yeah. yeah. Same thing. Like you'd have to be invited to that. That's a bad, bigger one. But. So what kind of <laughs> what like I mean, fuck. Are we talking the low four digits here? Thousand. Like a yeah. thousand bucks. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, that you covers get, fucking gas, right? Yeah. It's, yeah, you could try to get more greedy. I'm sure. Otherwise, that's coming yeah. out of our accounts, right? Oh, that's what it does to us. Yeah. <laughs> like you have time. to have the money previously. So if you uh-huh. you have to be able to show that you can do it first. Oh yeah. 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 So if you've done it twice, does that count? No, no. They want, they want, <laughs> they want funds. Why in there. would it? Yeah, of course. Like not. if you're going on tour, yeah, exactly. if you're going on tour, and you know you need to have this much mileage, you have to have this much gas money, this blah blah blah. Yeah. You just have to show them that you've got this much money in there. A piggy bank to cover it. Yeah. And then you kind of do it anyway, and then a lot of it's reimbursement after the fact. Ah. You come back from tour or something. We got lucky in this case, I guess. Uh, I think the tour grant 
they, they put up front. So the tour, so the tour, okay, it's, I don't know how it works out here. Uh, Manitoba, you get the, the tour grant, and that's a physical grant. That's an actual grant. And the album grant that we got is more of a loan, more or less. Oh. So you have to pay it back with sales slowly over mm. time. Mm. Each album is selling out. Yeah. Almost like a label. Fuck, wow. Yeah, that's like really cool, man. Manitoba music label kind of thing. And we yeah. hope that the more they do it, the sure. more money they'll give us as we kind of grow and they'll kind of keep betting on us. Yeah. They've you been know. incredibly helpful in the, along the whole process. Well, I mean, like, that, the reason that came up is because it's like, it's like touring Russia. Yeah. Geographically. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, so it's like, <laughs> fuck, you know, like you said, you're driving around for two weeks, you hit five major cities. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. If you were in the States, you would have driven by 150 million people. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, that's, to that's, so you almost, you almost like, that's where it's like, and, you know, I'll tell you guys, don't fucking hang me, but I'm half American. And I've always wanted to be like, oh, fucking do it on our own steam and all this good shit. But you, you can't. No. Like, up here, you just can't. They, kinda, like, they do what the label would do for you later. They kind of get you from zero to the label, I think. It's a way right. to look at it. Yeah, yeah. No, that's really, really good, man. Like, I think they'd probably work with the label, like, too. They might. Major bands. Well, like, yeah, I guess that's true. true for the same stuff we well major get bands like i mean i remember one year it was like D- gord downey's side project got you know like the biggest factor grant yeah it was like what <laughs> you know, different like, categories it's not like that guy doesn't have any fucking connections but whatever i mean it's cool like i, I guess he has the biggest plan to, but it still benefits it the them most. they're not like sure they want to export radio talent i know that's and they want to support fact, their yeah. community right their producers and their and it's like sure. their talents right so there's like a ripple effect of like lighting people, you know, absolutely. Venues. It all would benefit from Gord Downey's like success. Exactly. So yeah. Like, and that's what I've uh, kind of understood in just a little bit like of reading yeah. I've done with Factor is that they they really want you to be going for radio. So like I could see where they would give you money for Europe or something because Noir is going to be played in fucking Europe on the radio. It's not going to be played yeah, like before university. they would give you a grant here yeah, for exactly, something like yeah. that, right? Yeah. So that well, I mean, that's pretty awesome. I gotta fucking really look into that more. Right? They are kind of like looking for metal bands, so to speak. Yeah, there's, like no that, there's not a lot of metal bands that think they can do it, and they've told us like, you know, you don't have to be uh, like poppy or anything. You know, like you Indian can be bands, you, you can be like pure death metal, but as long as you've got your ducks in a row and you're taking it serious, sure. You We're know? by no means poppy. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not in this country. No. <laughs> Maybe yeah. in Finland. They're yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, this one's a little late. It's a late. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A. Um, well, we should take a break and listen to another tune. Sure. Sure. You figure. Uh, what, what song should we listen to? I don't know. know my name. Sure. Cool. We'll be right back.
That song was called My Name off of The Tracks of the Hunted by Noir from Winnipeg. Hey, man. Thanks a lot for coming out. How was the drive out here? Did you guys almost kill anything or did you almost die? Mm, Not this time. No. Nope. It's pretty smooth sailing. Yeah. Flat. Until we got to Calgary, it was fucking hailing and raining. Yeah, yeah. it's, yeah. This is getting wet in Nate's backyard, too. It's since yeah. lifted, which is getting good. wet and hard in Nate's backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Grind it. <Yeah. laughs> fucking A. So, um, yeah. Tonight's a rad show. Um, this will be the past when people hear this, but uh, you guys. <laughs> Don't freak out. Man, that was a great show. <laughs> <laughs> that show was unreal. There's 300 people there. Yeah. <laughs> um, you guys, ye heard goat, ye goat heard gods. Have you heard or seen? I checked them out actually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're fucking guitar players are pretty, pretty yeah, wild. Yeah, they're good. Eh? Some really good cool times. shit going on. Cool. Yeah, and then the old Death God from the Morley Reserve there. Yeah, those guys are fucking awesome and crazy. We'd actually uh, played with them once. Where? At, um, our first tour, the first show we played was this at uh, Six Sicka yeah. with Carlin. Oh, Six fucking it. Yeah, Sixiki. And we were like the first Sixiki. band on, so we came there in our van. There was this huge was teepee, and we thought yeah. we were going to play in this big ass teepee, and the sound was going to be amazing. Right. And they stuck us in this like janitor's closet where the show was. It was like, oh, yeah. This yeah. tiny little room. Yeah. They just don't want to clean it up. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. The RCMP um, teepee got stolen from there like three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> stolen? <laughs> yeah, totally stolen. And it, to where. <laughs> The RCMP have tweeted out, like, we're looking for our TP. They're tweeting now? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like oh, a yeah. huge full-size TP. The real gumshoe, yes. eh? And it's got RCMP <laughs> colors all over I remember over seeing it. people set those up at, like, uh, at, like, a music festival, and it took, like, three people to carry the logs into that place. Sure. Like, three guys on shoulders, you know? Fuck, yeah. How do no. you get that thing out of there on the, <laughs> on the low key? <laughs> yeah, you just it. nailed it on the head there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah three, three guys. four guys, yeah. yeah. Dude. Kyoctus played at Six Sicka, and actually, right across the tracks from Six Sicka is a town called Gleeshin. Okay. And we played at the Gleeshin Bar. It's it's a white guy town, but all the natives go over there because they have an off sales bar there, which oh. is where we played at. It's it's a bar slash liquor store, so you see all these people coming over from the reserve and buying their bottles and going back and shit. But this, we're standing out, and it just so happened that my dad, and my my stepbrother, and fucking his like business associate, were coming from the east. So they like it was like, oh hey, stop by, we're playing out in Six Sicka, you know, if I come have a beer. So we're all standing outside of this Galician bar, and this fucking dude gets in his truck and he starts fucking like rah, 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 revving his fucking truck through the roof. And, oh, this will be interesting. We're all standing around. <laughs> He fucking just neutral drops this bitch and fucking right into this weird, like, embankment. Like, he went fucking zero to 80 clicks in, like, 100 feet and just sm- It was like a loading dock. Like, he just <laughs> bam! And, it, it like, the, he hit and it, like, jumped up and hit the ground and he totaled his fucking truck yeah, right there. The end of it. it was so fucked. And then, later on that night, Carlin had put that show on, too. And there was some fucking weird thing that they were doing on the reserve to each other. Anyways, my guitar player, Doug, is standing out next to Carlin outside. And this fucking chick walks right up to Carlin, point blank in the face, with the orange fucking bear spray. What? Like the napalm shit. That shit that is all, like, sticky and it's, like, made of styrofoam. Yeah. Fuck, man. He was so fucked. He's just, like... (laughs) Oh. It's just like, holy fuck, we're going to fucking die. We're going to fucking <laughs> why die. Is, why? Well, he just got bear maced, like, no. point blank. No, but why did he get bear maced? Yeah. For basically no reason. <laughs> like, they, they were just man. doing that around there. Ding dong. Psh. I got you so good. Yeah, yeah fuck. Yeah, you and fell for that. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe there was some little beef. I don't know. Fuck. Carlin's the sweetest guy ever. Oh, no, yeah. He's, he's the raddest dude of all yeah. time. Check well, out think- number three of Getting Hard in Nate's Backyard. But, um, and he, like, he's over the sink, and I, he's like, Call me down, Nate. I'm going to fucking die, man. I'm going to fucking die. Call me down. Call me down, Nate. <laughs> fucking freaking out. Call me down. And then I'm just like, Keep putting water in your eyes, man. Keep it. And my guitar player, like, 
he was standing to his right, like kind of perp- perpendicular to him, and he got like a bit of the spray uh, off spray from it, and he was fucking like pretty fucked up. That like, stuff not, is bad. That stuff is fucking terrible. Holy I had a man. buddy who got hit with that, and he said like when he went to take a shower, it all just runs down, and then your whole body burns after like just trying to wash the shit off of you because <laughs> it's made to stick to skin. Yeah. Ugh. Or in, like, fur. Yeah. So the bear really fucks right off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the bear. Yeah, or, the bear. Uh, or Carlin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Poor Carlin, though. I couldn't what believe that shit. And then th- the fucking RCMP show up, and it's so fucked, you know. Is it Bob? It's <laughs> Bob. Bohemian? You ever been Bohemian drink? beer? Yeah, what yeah. is Bohemian beer? Just I have Bob. no idea. Where'd you get that? Where'd you get Bohemian beer? Uh, at the Trouble Punch? What? Oh, in Swift Current. Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> they had no recognizable beer like for us. Like, no Moosehead, no Kokanee or anything. It was all this like funny beers. Huh. Well, except, like, Is it good? Know, it's good, yeah. Yeah, yeah drink a Bohemian. Check out Bohemian, folks. <laughs> if you're in Saskatchewan. Next it was time Calgary beer, too. It was Calgary be- brand beer. Calgary yeah, brand beer. Yeah, that's weird. Because they're, they're, they don't, they don't have, have that it in here. Calgary? They no. sell in Regina. I remember beef? last time we played there. <laughs> I yeah. have no idea <laughs> what it is. And there's a bison head on it, too. So it's like Manitoba's logo, right? There. You know, that's always pissed me off about Canada. There's no free trade in Canada. No. Like, there's no Calgary beer in Calgary. What the fuck? Like, because there's, like, why different is, laws why about beer. so damn expensive here. It's like, if you go to Norway... Black metal is just like 40 bucks a CD or something. It's the same idea. You buy maple syrup here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> no kidding, yeah. Did you see that heist? There was a big heist of maple syrup no. a couple yeah, of years ago. Yeah, I heard about that. It was like $18 million yeah. of fucking maple syrup. They what, took out this like warehouse. a tanker truck or they something? They stole no, no, it. it the, yeah, they stole it out of the warehouse. It was something like Kingston or some fucking yeah, weird place. Like, there, where are you going to offload that? <laughs> yeah, no, like, I got, I got $18 million of maple syrup. <laughs> go, go across Canada and sell it out of the back of your van. Yeah. Oh, we'll, 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 we'll talk later about that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a good um, tour supplement. Yeah, Smitty's to probably did it. So yeah, our van runs off of maple Smitty's syrup. did it so they can fucking <laughs> they can jack their sales on their own brand. Yeah. Oh. Corner of the market. Smitty's did it. Yeah. <laughs> Sent in operatives, maple yeah. syrup operatives. They're just burning that truck somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> maple syrup cartel rules. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is our CFC. We got the syrup market here. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. Have you guys ever gone out east? Yes. We went Quebec. to Montreal and Quebec. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. How did that go? It was fun. It was really was cool. It, was, were they receptive? Good Seems like they would out. dig that shit, though. Yeah, Quebec was actually like nobody knew who the fuck we were. One guy knew who we were. They were both good turnouts. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No one buys merch. No, yeah. At all. Um, I talked to, like, John yeah. about it, and he said he's probably charging too much. I don't know, like, I don't know. I, I talked to a guy in Halifax about it, too. He said, you just have to keep going, man, just continuously hit it. And so, not, like, it seems Montreal's more, a 30-hour drive from Winnipeg. It's more casual for them down, there, though. You know what I mean? It's not, like, as exciting. They're just like, yeah, this is what we do. Yeah. It's really, like... Montreal and Quebec are completely, like, they're different. completely different places. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. You wouldn't know you. They were so close together. It's funny how they like hate each other. So like totally. the guys in Montreal are like, oh, the Quebec guy's not talking to us. He doesn't want anything to do with us. We go to the Quebec and they're like, oh, not the Montreal guys. Don't talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for working together, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> in this tiny fucking populated country that's spread out over the size of Russia. Thanks yeah, they aren't even that. That was that cool. Far yeah. apart. It was cool. No fucking a! I would, I'd love to take us out there. I, I'm I want to try and figure out something. Like I think that there's a really big hole between Winnipeg and anywhere else. Yeah, yeah. And I like because I'm dual citizen and all this shit. I want to try to use my powers of citizenry to uh, establish something south. Because like imagine a, like a path. Lots, mean? So, yeah. Well, like there's just more people and the more. Secret trail. <laughs> The secret tra- the, <laughs> touring trail? The, the South Great Lake Trail, where, you know, you take a right at Winnipeg, go down to Fargo, go down to Eau Claire, with Wisconsin, sure, Madison. Yeah. There's all these fucking crazy college towns come up down there. Sault Ste. Marie sometime eventually? I don't know. Yeah, uh, the, you could that. come up and go that way, or you could go down even right further there. to, like, Chicago yeah, and, yeah. Like Detroit, and Detroit, yeah. if you wanted to get crazy, and then you would cross from Detroit <laughs> into hard, Kingston. Though. Like, rough. I know. Detroit, I know. That's kind of like, what I'm. I ready for that shit? I it would know. really have to be the right venues. Yeah, you gotta yeah. get your yeah your street badges all up to date. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do some training before yeah, you yeah, yeah. Some, 
Some Get knife. Your dictionary or. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Chicago Trans- wasn't that bad. I've been to Chicago. Yeah? Yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah, most of the Don't go places, out night or to the south and you're fine. Well, just, you know, it, it's like all those cities. Don't go to Martin Luther King Boulevard. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's all, all the big cities in America. Yeah, we're going to write this stuff just down. Just don't go there. <laughs> yeah, if, if, you're, if you're not black, just don't go there. I heard I mean, unless, you, fucking... unless you're escorted by somebody who's like, don't worry, these guys are cool. I have a buddy from Germany. He's like, he's actually German or whatever, right? <laughs> He said Germany's kind of getting like that too. Like you got to be careful even hmm. there and shit. So sure, no, every big city's got a shitty part of town. Yeah, right? like yeah. I'm sure there's places in Winnipeg you don't fucking walk around. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You live in one of them. Confusion Corner North. Yeah. <laughs> what about that confusion? What the fuck? Uh, Have confusion- you been on it? Yes. Did you find it confusing? Um, well, no. It's not so bad. Yeah. No, it's not. It's, it's just a little bit up. redundant, almost. It's, it's like, redundant. Yeah, redundant. There's, there's a median there. It doesn't yeah. need to be there. You're like, okay, well. For that's pe- the confusing part, I think. For people that don't know what we're talking about, there's this weird corner in Winnipeg where it should probably be a traffic circle. Yeah. But it's not. So there's like 14 intersections and one intersection. It's genius. Like, that would, that would solve it instantly if you just... A circle? Fucking right. Problem solved. Totally. No, uh, except Winnipeg, you just get accidents all across. And only one of the roads going through Confusion Corner is straight. The other yeah. ones all come in at like weird <laughs> angles and then leave at weird yeah. angles. Yeah, it's yeah, that's right too. Forty-five degrees here. And- well, yeah, he's right. A, like a traffic circle that solved the problem. Yeah, instantly. But isn't there like overpasses and underpasses and all no, that weird not, shit going not along? Used by yeah. the we have a perimeter mm-hmm. around. And that's, Perimeter highway. That's the biggest thing we got going, except for maybe a few like yeah. It's, it's cheaper to put cross like a, sections in the city. Stoplights mm-hmm. or a stop sign, then do build like a off ramp or something. Sure, so yeah. Put the stop sign up. It's like they overbuilt that city. They thought it was going to be way bigger than it is. I think they thought it was going to be way smaller. It's yeah. not well planned out. Train so like, lines bisect everything. Yeah, the oh. perimeter has lights literally everywhere, and tracks go across it. So like, there's no uh, freeway or anything. Even Regina has a freeway. No you can just like, way, yeah. yeah, you can't go through without hitting lights. Our like, main no way to go way goes the city. from it goes from outside the city. So if you have like something that goes right through the city, like through the center, so you have a perimeter, and then you have like maybe one that goes through the center both ways, like a T or cross. It changes speed limits five or six times from like right. ninety down to fifty and back up. Like it goes 90, 80, 70, 50, 60, 70, 90. It's just like yeah, it's dumb. It's this dumb. is the Trans Canada Highway. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. It's even here. It's like Trans Canada Highway. Once you get into Calgary, you go through thirty fucking lights. Like that's the shit. That you're come on. Actually, yeah. If you were driving through and you had to go through Winnipeg, you'd have to go around Winnipeg. That's what we always did. Yeah. We go. Yeah. We take the perimeter well, highway. Exactly. There isn't yeah. really a good way like right through Winnipeg. The that's only terrible. the only street that goes all the way through it goes north south. <laughs> yeah, like Main Street. You can't yeah, yeah. like if you come in off Number One is what Portage. The Main Street gets then, all crazy. yeah. Main Street yeah. turns yeah. off into yeah. different yeah. streets. Yeah, and then it all <laughs> splits up, and you have to go through a bunch There's of. There's no areas. good way to go through. We really there. appreciate the number system that everybody seems to have. Yeah, we yeah. have oh, three right. different names. Yeah. No number. Like, our streets, streets have first, middle, and last names. Yeah, <laughs> weird. Yeah, we name our streets after like mediocre television celebrities and stuff. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Matt Good Avenue. Yeah. <laughs> this section is this name. This section is that name. This section is that name. Milt Steagle uh, Drive. Anybody? We do yeah. have Milt Steagle Drive. Yeah. Yeah. Who the fuck's that? So Touch, touchdown uh, Beagle. Blue right. Bomber. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, okay. CFL. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Local celebrity. Fucking a. All right. Well. I think that's a podcast. Yeah. We should do your dates again real quick uh, for anybody that's listening. What's the current date? <laughs> yeah. Tonight at Josh Distortion. Yeah, tonight yeah. at Distortion. Or, 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 or yesterday or yeah. last week. Yeah. No, no. Okay, so the, we got... The other day. We got uh, July 6th at uh, Distortion, or yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, as a rager. Uh, July 7th, Edmonton <laughs> at uh, Bricks. July 8th, Vancouver at the Astoria. July 9th in Kelowna at Munis's, Munis, Munis Post. Uh, Munis? Great, now no one's going to come yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> upset Munis. Um, July 10th, Sunday in Victoria, B.C. at Logan's Pub. Yeah, July 13th uh, in uh, Nanaimo. Nanaimo? Nanaimo. 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 Uh, I'll get it one day. Nanaimo. At There's the Canby. July 14th, uh, Prince George at the Art Space. 15th through 16th at Armstrong Metal Fest. July 21st at Red Deer uh, at the VAT. And then July 23rd, Regina at the Mercury. Armstrong, we're playing at like 3.30. 
fucking A. Yeah. That's on a good Saturday. Slot. On Saturday. We're usually on at noon. So that's oh, a good really? Slot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's There's a few Winnipeg slot. bands there, actually. Yeah, it's actually it like Winnipeg heavy. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Is Wilt playing? <clears throat> no. 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 Who else? Oh, and Vernon Serenity. Vernon Serenity. Vernon Serenity. And Tyrant Surmise is playing. Entity is kind of like a half Winnipeg, half Vancouver band. Oh, that's right. Yeah, a couple of the drummer and the guitar player moved to Vancouver, I think. that's true, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. They just asked today for a show on the way back. Oh, really? Monday. Like July? July 18th. And I was like, oh, "Oh, man. (laughs) (laughs) It's the 6th? Yes. He'd asked me. He'd asked me if we wanted to tour out east with him. Oh, yeah, right. I heard they had somebody drop off. Yeah, cell dropped off. Cell dropped off. And I was like, well, we're playing (coughs) Red Deer when they're supposed to be in Toronto, probably. They're doing, oh. they're going hard, man. Oh, man. oh. <laughs> yeah. Too hard. <laughs> Intense. Well, well, good for them, though. Yeah, I mean, ambition. Exactly. And working, you know? Like, it, yeah. it's, like, like I was explaining to you guys on the break there, like, that's the whole point of Nate Fest and all this stuff, and even bands on Metal Fest and shit. It's like, you gotta be able to pull, you gotta work, you gotta, because it's, I'm sure you guys see this too, where it's like, you're more popular kind of outside of your town. Oh, yeah. It, then you are in your own town. Like, that's, like, Kyoctus always plays in fucking Edmonton and shit because we, we play there more than here because it's, it's a different, just it's how a it is. It's a totally different thing, man. Like, yeah. People, whatever Edmonton. it is, you could, you could, like, discuss it. But, like, who, who knows, knows why? It's just how it is. Speaking of which, you're, uh, Calgary Metal Fest, it's gonna yeah. be awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told, Coming I, out? I told. I don't. I don't know. I don't, yeah. I'm a really. I'm a broke student. I told my I friend. Yeah, Fred, yeah. Or I told my friend that Annihilator's playing, and she's like, Annihilator's playing Canada. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it'll be pretty awesome. It was very expensive, so everybody come out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna send you back there with some tickets. Fuck. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Uh, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, the historic night of Canadian metal, man. Annihilator, Sacrifice, Razor. Crazy, um, and uh, Annihilator, Sacrifice, Razor, Sacrifice, and Razor have toured together before, haven't they? Exciter, and Exciter. Did I say that? No, I didn't say that. Annihilator, Sacrifice, Razor, and, and Exciter. Exciter. Yeah, yeah. Exciter's the uh, original lineup too, from like '85. They played at uh, Noctis, and that, uh, Dickens was crazy. Not the I couldn't original lineup. Not the original. Lineup. No, <laughs> but yes, they did. Yeah. At and the, Sacrifice did a Noctis, too. Did they? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I played that year, that, too. With, uh, fuck, when I saw that, I was yeah. like, holy fuck, I love this pair. Jesus Christ. They're really good. Yeah, they're really fun. And then I got uh, Toxic Holocaust for the Friday, which is going to rule. And uh, it's weird. Those guys are very polarizing. Some people are like, what the fuck? Because I put Dis- Disciples of Power on that, too. Yeah. And they're like, fucking Toxic Holocaust should be over on for Disciples of Power. And I was like, whoa, fuck. <laughs> like, so, like, I get what you're saying. Disciples of Power has been around forever, but I mean, Toxic Holocaust is pretty big, and they haven't played around here since 2011. So yeah, that's good. They just did something in Vancouver in like April. But... Everyone's a critic, eh? Oh yeah, <laughs> what, God bless them. It's like, well, it, it turns into it's like, well, am I really gonna give the fucking squeaky wheel the grease? Because it's like, it's like two fucking dudes. They're just like DOP. You know, I'm like, trust oh, me, oh, I love right. DOP too. Yeah, They're one of my right. favorite bands. But it's like, you know, come on. <laughs> DOP, did you guys play the night of DOP at uh, second, Shredmonton? Second night. Oh, so they, the second they, night. they headlined Friday. We played Saturday with uh, Goat Whore Headline and uh, Thunderstone. Fucking A. Yeah, we played with Plenty Deer in the basement. Mm. The Boudoir. The Boudoir. Yeah. Plenty Deer's a rad band. Fuck. Yeah. There. I had them. They headlined Nate Fest this year. It was fucking yeah. sweet. They were a good time. They are they're, yeah, they're such a good time. You have to be really careful. <laughs> they're a dangerously good time. <laughs> I really like their uh, their logo. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah, no, they're all and like Luke does all their records, their guitar player and shit. Like they're all. Oh yeah, he, they, uh, they, yeah. he's like self sufficient really, everything. You mean? Yeah. Well, yeah, he's a really rad producer in his own right in Regina and fucking. Hmm. So he does lots of bands out there and shit. So you record us. He does his band. Too, which was awesome but uh yeah fucking a so that's a podcast uh check out noir uh was it noir dark metal metal yeah. noir dark metal dot bandcamp dot com yeah and uh or you i'm can, sure you could search noir winnipeg with an e i don't know yeah it's with the e 
Noir with the E. Uh, you could buy Search Tracks Star. of the Hunted for one dollar online. Yeah. Fucking a. And if you don't, you're an asshole. <laughs> That's what it turns into with the dollar thing. Eh? Yeah. Like, you don't got a fucking buck or what? Yeah, you're kind of just like, all right. Yeah. Do you guys have <laughs> copies of the CD at the shows? Yeah. yeah. What are those? Ten bucks? Those yeah. are ten dollars for Fuck, the CDs. See? Uh, we're gonna give have... the band ten bucks. Go to their show. Give them ten bucks. Fuck. We're gonna have tapes soon. Mm. Yeah. Tapes. The guy in the Holy states God. wanted to print up tapes. So. Really? You yep. got a hold of you guys? Yep. Fucking a. That's sweet. And uh, Depressive Illusion Records just printed CDs and tapes for Russia and Ukraine. If anyone listens to it out there. Yeah, if you're from Russia or Ukraine, check it out. Fucking check it out, you motherfuckers. <laughs> God damn it. Drink some Stoli and check out some fucking noir. Yeah. All right, so is that just for straight bootlegging purposes? or? <laughs> um, <laughs> we got there, a distro deal. <laughs> there was no money back and forth. <laughs> yeah, wanted, totally, right? We had 16 emails back and forth. And Did they make you send a promo them. photo? <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're on the he billboard. Sent us, he sent us a photo of the CDs after they were printed. And uh, that's about uh, it. Right, yeah. <laughs> it was like, yeah, here's the music, and you give us CDs, and you guys don't know, but you're the biggest band in Russia right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And this yeah. guy's just like, yeah, I'll do you don't know money back and forth. <laughs> no money, don't worry yeah. about nothing. Canadian <laughs> suckers. We're I'll send you a bottle of Kvars. Yeah, I'll send you. <laughs> <laughs> we have no means of selling records out there, anyways. We're like, all right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah exactly. Right, yeah. It's Next one's ours. <laughs> Why not yeah. get in with the mafia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. at least they're getting out there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Hilarious, just bootlegging everybody. That's what apparently I heard. You know Slim, right? He does the video stuff out here. Have you seen any of that? Slim, yeah. Slim, uh, Slim Biz TV. Um, Ray anyway, Bell. Like he, uh, his buddy, uh, he's since passed away, but he was filming. He would go film shows so he could show his buddy. And so he's doing all these shows for free and posting them with like shitty audio. And I was like, "Fuck, man, let's work together." And I'll record the band and we can marry them and fucking at least. So I heard something that these might be being bootlegged over there. Like these, because oh, yeah. it's like pretty rad audio. Like it's off, it's not just a board mix, it's like a multi track yeah. mix. And I put a little bit of time into mixing it and stuff. So it's like, I heard they're getting ripped off over there and like ripped, which is, you know, it's like hilarious. It's cool. It's, hopefully that's good for all the bands. Like, you know, the one's getting a shit ton of downloads. Oh, check it out. Fucking noir. Yeah, <laughs> got, yeah, yeah. got video. Now they want you over there. Gonna, <laughs> but it's funny. Fly that, out. Like, what is Craig? You're the vocalist now or something? Like, oh, so we've had two different reviews on totally different Russian names. sites with different. So noir is a two man project that started as electronica. Mm. And it's mm-hmm. Evil Sergey and Uncle Vlad. Yeah, I'm Uncle Vlad. I'm yeah. Fuck Sergei. yes. <laughs> yeah. Evil, I like Evil it. Sergey. Hey, man. <laughs> run with it. Let him do it. Uncle Vlad. Vlad. The second you drop an album, it's on a Russian website the next day. Like, it's just... They, they instantly grab it, and you can download it. I can go download uh, Dark Reverence if I want our first album. Hey, Russia, send a fucking email to Big Nate Productions yeah. at gmail.com. <laughs> Let's fucking do this, man. Yeah, Russia. We'll drink all your Kvarsier. And we'll fuck <laughs> And your uh, your life hack guy. We want to talk to him too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Funny, fucking a. Well, check out Noir online. Check them out on their tour. Fucking, you know, go go to Armstrong Metal Fest. Check out all the fucking rad bands there. And uh, yeah, go to BigNateProductions.com and click on everything there. And uh, thanks for getting hard in Nate's backyard, everybody. <laughs> I'm yeah, so right on. fucking hard right now. <laughs> I'm almost there. <laughs> I'm going to... depend exactly how I thought it was. Leave it soft, maybe. But <laughs> well, uh, yeah, grab a Viagra on the way yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, just in this bowl right here? <laughs> <laughs> that's the blue... That's why they're all blue m and <laughs> Fucking A. Safe travels, fellas, and thanks for coming on. Thanks, thanks man. Thanks. thanks for having us. Cheers.
Thank mm-hmm. you.